welcome to this Sigil Magic Codex. Um, I very much wanted to bring together the best practices, um, the most efficient ways of creating sigils, and especially how to overcome that problem of forgetting the sigil and desire. Um, I, I hope that you learn a few things. This is a preview video. I will have videos to go along with the book when it's released. So welcome to the Sigil Magic Codex. So I'll go through some of the basics. The statement of intent. So this is what you want. Uh, this is taught in every book in Signal Magic. Um, here we have an example. This is my will to find a loving romantic partner that is perfect for me as soon as possible. Now that's a good statement. It's, it's brief. It's to the point. Um, it does include this is my will. I would advise you to try something different as well, just to test them against each other, which is to create a statement as if it has already taken place. So, I have a loving romantic partner who is perfect for me. For some people that works better, and I would advise you to kind of do a test and see which works best for you. Uh, it depends on your overall psychology. But definitely test them out. Um, you may find that one works better than the other. Now, the next step is to remove the vowels. This isn't taught in every course or book, but it certainly um, shortens and simplifies a sigil once you're at the end of it. So here we are. Um, this is my will to find the loving romantic partner that is perfect for me as soon as possible. All the vowels removed. The next step you'll be familiar with is to remove the duplicates. So we start at the beginning, T, remove the duplicate T's. We start and then we go through each letter in turn until all the duplicates are removed. That's reading left to right, which results in this here, which is still kind of complex. And I want to show you something that will make the sigils more primal and allow them to seep into your subconscious uh, more easily. Now the wrong way to design a sigil, here we have the letters, is to do lots of lines and to make it very complex so that each line represents a letter. That's very hard for your subconscious to remember, to, to, to integrate into itself. So this is what I advise, and it's the primal sigil. Now I always advise first start with a circle with two lines going through it. And as you can see, we have the T here. the H, uh, the P if you look at it this way, the B if you look at it this way. So there's lots of letters that we can get into this circle with a cross inside it. There are others that you won't be able to get and for that we can do kind of short lines from the bottom or reaching outwards um, to form letters that we haven't been integrated into this. Um, you could do an extra line here to form the R, the V is already in, and this simplifies it so much for your subconscious so that you can see pin. Um, so we have this circle with these lines, and then underneath it, or coming out, we'll have extra lines to represent the letters that either we don't want to be inside here or aren't inside here, because obviously we want something more than just a circle. And charging. 
now there are a few ways spoken about about charging the death posture the kind of gnosis of exhaustion and um, masturbation or sex magic now I charge the sigil twice I'll tell you one way is through sex magic and the other way I will leave for the video series um, so that's it for now I hope you enjoyed it that's the absolute basics as I say that's a, that's a preview of the videos that will go along with the book that hopefully just explain things a little better so thank you